What's up, everybody? Mr. 707 here. Uh, I want to get in another another uh, little vlog. Uh, I've, I've had some time off for the whole year. Kind of lost the love <laughs> for YouTube uh, due to a YouTube policy after losing my monetization. Uh, they, they changed the policy to, for the monetization standards at the beginning of the year. So when I lost my monetization due to uh, just the size of my channel, I kind of just, you know, kind of lost the love for it, and, you know, kind of, I guess, for the wrong reasons, you know. Um, I probably could have got my monetization back by just, you know, putting in some more work. But at the at the time, just life and work and things going on, I just didn't really have time for it with the editing and filming and this and that. So, um, but I'm, I'm back I'm gonna try to do maybe a vlog once a week, just just because I like it, you know. Just uh, this time around, just not make it around monetization. And if I get monetization, that'll be cool. I mean, but I'm not. That's not my goal at the, this point in time. Is just to vlog and you know, just a hobby, you know. But uh, I talked about the Takashi Six Nine issue last week with the federal indictment. For uh, racketeering, uh, drug charges, stuff like that. But uh, today I want to talk about a YouTuber that I watched, and interacted with several times. Paul from uh, Family Cruising. Unfortunate incident. The guy got charged with 15 counts of illegal street racing and, uh, I guess, child endangerment for, uh, I guess, the street racing and child endangerment. But to give you some background about the guy, he started his channel off with a Hellcat that he bought. And, you know, this is about his Hellcat. Uh, he was doing mods to it, which at the time, I was like, it, it kind of didn't s seem right to me that he would be modding a car in a garage and then filming it when that could have that could void your your powertrain warranty, your your whatever warranty that you have when you bought that car from a dealership. You know, Dodgers are not notoriously reliable cars. So once you start tinkering on them and and doing modifications onto them that will void your warranty, you, you put yourself at risk. And um, the car caught on fire, uh, end up uh, burning the car up. I don't know if that was due to the mods or something that the dealership did or a, a factory flaw. We don't know. I don't know. Uh, but that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is the, the, the criminal charges that he incurred from <clears throat> allegedly street racing and alleged child endangerment. And uh, I, I guess he's sitting in jail over like a 400000 with a $400,000 bond or bail, you know, and it just, uh, it's like, to me, it's like, is it is it worth it as a YouTube content creator to put yourself at risk like that? And uh, over creating content that I'm pretty sure he didn't really make the type of money that that equals or, or, or is more than the cost that he incurred, you know, from buying a $70,000 car, buying performance parts. And then losing the car. Okay, and then go out and buy another car and then get arrested for street racing. I mean, I personally never seen him street racing in any of his videos. I've seen him at a racetrack. And even then, I want a lot of YouTubers to know first off that I, you know, I've seen YouTubers street racing, and I'm like, man, that's not. That's not something you would want to do, especially for YouTube. Um, first off, I wouldn't do it at all. I mean, it would be a good idea not to do it at all. But if you are going to make it a car-based channel about racing, it would probably be, be a good idea to take it to a racetrack. That being said, uh, um, I want a lot of content creators, what they need to realize that if they wreck a financed car at a, at a racetrack, your insurance company won't cover that. 
So just be prepared for that. Also, a lot of people might not know that. And they, they go race their cars at a racetrack and then they wreck it. It's just a total loss and then you're out of pocket. So is at that point in time, is it worth it in the name of YouTube views? I would say it's not, especially if you're not a, a not a huge channel and you could absorb the loss. You, you know, they're making millions of dollars. It's nothing to them. So, but in that case, they probably wouldn't be financing the Hellcat. They'd be buying it outright. And they would have it built specifically for racing. Um, but if you're a small channel working a nine to five and creating content and buying expensive cars to mod them in your own garage and then blow up the engine or it catches on fire, it just that's not that's not the proper way to do it. You know, it's it's gonna end up costing you more than what you could ever make on YouTube, you know, I guess Paul has 60 or 70,000 subscribers, but that's not, that's a lot. Of course, there's more subscribers than what I have, but you're not, it's not making hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars. You know, it might make thousands or $10,000 or whatever, you know? So, I mean, I don't, I don't really know what he's making, but I can estimate the ballpark range about what he's made on his channel and it hasn't it hasn't been worth the amount of money that he put into it and especially sitting in jail away from your family having to pay for legal fees and um you know cars destroyed and you know possible loss of work uh it's not worth it and you know just anybody just seeing these channels people buying expensive cars and racing them and modding them and you know, don't, I wouldn't follow that example, you know, maybe wait until you, you become a big channel to be able to, to put it into racing is expensive. Racing is very expensive. Even if you, if you, even if it's done legally at a racetrack, which is probably the only way you should be doing it in the first place. It's very expensive. So just keep that in mind, man. Um, you know, keep it in mind, be safe out there. I'm not trying to tell anybody what to do or try to seem like a moral authority. It's just a word to the wise. Just some advice. Play it safe. Do, do, do know that you are filming content and you are putting it up for public consumption. And obviously, um, police get a hold of people street racing and they can charge you with illegal street racing. I've seen several uh, YouTubers with very nice cars, Hellcats, Mustangs, uh, drag racing on the street or, you know, roll racing on the street or, you know, whatever. And it's not cool. It's not cool like that, you know, so just be smart about it. Um, use Paul as an example. I'm not trying to beat Paul up or nothing. Uh, I, I feel bad for him. I, I hope everything works out for him. You know, um, I don't think he's a bad guy, but, uh, you know, we got to be smarter than that. And, uh, it's, you know, social media, you know, it's kind of like not as bad as the Takashi 6 9 issue, but similar in the way that Takashi used the social media to, you know, further his platform. And granted, you could say he made millions of dollars, but the fact that, you know, he has this federal indictment. You can very well lose all of that and his freedom. So and it's all relative. So this guy, you know, use social media as a platform to make money. And he made some money, but he could lose his freedom. And whatever he put into it. So it's like, it's kind of relative, but that on different levels, you know, so, I mean, that's all I got to say about that. Um, um, we got the Dante Wilder and, uh, Tyson Fury fight today. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna check that out. Hopefully, hopefully that, uh, that's a good fight. I'm gonna give a, uh, I might post a video about that, but, uh, yeah. Uh, Mr. 707 out.